In earlier classes, we have studied about the types of numbers such as natural numbers 1, 2, 3 and so on, whole numbers 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on and integers minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. Here we will know about integers. In this chapter, we will study the following concepts. Addition and subtraction of integers, multiplication and division of integers. Integers A collection of numbers which consists of positive number, that is, natural numbers, zero, and negative numbers, that is, negative natural numbers, minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three, and so on, are called integers. The numbers one, two, three, and so on, are called positive integers. The numbers negative one, negative two, negative three, and so on, are called negative integers. Zero is neither a negative nor a positive integer. On the number line, if we count from the left to right, we count forward. And if we count from the right to left, we count backward. Predecessor and Successor Predecessor One less than a given integer is called its predecessor. So, on the number line, each integer just left to the given integer is its predecessor. For example, we have the following numbers and we will find their predecessors. 21 minus 1 is equal to 20. Here, 20 is the predecessor of 21. 50 minus 1 is equal to 49. So, 49 is the predecessor of 50. Successor 1 greater than a given integer is called its successor. So, on the number line, each integer just right to the given integer is its successor. For example, we have the following numbers and we will find their successors. 31 plus 1 is equal to 32. So, 32 is the successor of 31. 44 plus 1 is equal to 45. So, 45 is the successor of 44. Representation of integers on number line. We use the following steps to represent the integers on a number line. Draw a line. Mark some points at equal distances on it. Mark zero at its middle point. Points to the right of zero are positive integers and are marked as positive one, positive two, positive three, and so on or simply 1, 2, 3, and so on. Points to the left of 0 are negative integers and are marked negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. Every positive integer is greater than every negative integer. The number 0 is smaller than every positive integer. The number zero is greater than every negative integer. Absolute value of an integer. The absolute value of an integer is the numerical value of the integer regardless of its sign. To find the absolute value, the sign modulus is used. For example, the absolute value of minus five is equal to modulus of minus 5 is equal to 5. The absolute value of 7 is equal to modulus of 7 is equal to 7. The absolute value of 0 is equal to modulus of 0 is equal to 0. Note, the integer 0 is neither a positive nor a negative integer. If a is an integer, then modulus of a is equal to a if a is positive and modulus of a is equal to minus a if a is negative and modulus of a is equal to zero if a is equal to zero. 
Addition of integers. For the addition of integers, we follow two rules. Rule 1. If two integers are of the same sign, then we simply add the integers and put the common sign before the sum obtained. For example, add 3 and 5. As sum of 3 and 5 is equal to 8 and common sign is positive, therefore 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. Add negative 3 and negative 5. As sum of 3 and 5 is 8 and common sign is negative, therefore negative 3 plus negative 5 is equal to negative 8. Rule 2. If two integers are of opposite signs, then we simply find their difference and place the sign of the integer that is greater before the difference so obtained. For example, add negative 8 and 5. As difference of 8 and 5 is equal to 3 and 8 is the greater integer, so we put negative sign. Therefore, negative 8 plus 5 is equal to negative 3. Add negative 5 and 8. As difference of 5 and 8 is equal to 3, and 8 is the greater integer, so we put positive sign. Therefore, negative 5 plus 8 is equal to 3. Subtraction of integers. Subtraction of one positive and one negative integer. Subtract 7 from negative 4. That is, negative 4 minus 7. Therefore, negative 4 plus negative 7 is equal to negative 11. Subtraction of two negative integers. Subtract negative 4 from negative 7 that is, negative 7 minus negative 4. Therefore, negative 7 minus negative 4 is equal to negative 7 plus 4 is equal to negative 3. Properties of addition of integers. Closure property. If a, b are any two integers, then a plus b is also an integer. Commutative property. If a, b are any two integers, then a plus b is equal to b plus a. Associative property. If a, b, c are any three integers, then a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c. Additive identity. If a is any integer, then a plus 0 is equal to 0 plus a is equal to a. 0 is called the additive identity.